Hello, this is Shannon with Black Sheep House. In today's video, we're taking a free Facebook Marketplace find dresser and transforming it into this boho beauty that you're gonna love. We're bleaching the drawers, we're removing some of the old stains that are left behind from the hardware, and then also the wood is a quite a bit different colors uh, because it's poplar and there's just varying uh, greens that come out and I'm going to show you how to fix that with bleach and taupe wash and so much more. We're also going to be making a custom color using scrap paint that's left over in the garage. A combination of oops paints and different brands and things you, you know, different brands of paint you may have never seen before. <laughs> I'm breaking out all the, the good tricks and tips here and it's going to be a really fun makeover. First thing that we need to do is uh, remove the hardware and then get this thing nice and clean before we can get started. Well friends, it looks like I have some thick laminate veneer on the top of this dresser and so definitely going to have to paint that because there's no way I can sand through that and make that wood. And then uh, it looks like I've got a very thin wood veneer on the sides that would be sandable if I wanted to. I'm still sort of thinking about the design at this point and with the repairs that need to be done on the bottom and the amount of work that I'm willing to put into uh, making this dresser beautiful, I think I'm gonna go with a painted body and then do the bleaching on the drawers. And so I made that decision as I was, you know, going over the dresser and cleaning it and getting to know the dresser a little bit better. The drawers are solid wood, so they're a wonderful candidate for sanding down and showcasing the beautiful wood that I found out is poplar wood. And correct me if I'm wrong here, but so a poplar tends to have this greenish hue that can pop up on certain parts of it and I really got a dose of that on these uh, drawers there's a lot of green and it doesn't even show as much in the video at, as much green as it really was in real life and I love the color green it's my favorite color <laughs> but I was going for obviously a more um, unified look and just to try to get everything to uh, be a nice solid as solid as possible uh, bleached wood look here. And so, <laughs> you know, hey, it is June. Feeling that southern heat down here in Georgia. Um, so I'm going to ble bleach these drawers with just some low splash bleach from Walmart. I'm going to paint it on full strength. Back in the day, I used to be more timid with bleach <laughs> than I am now. <laughs> now I'll just pour it on full strength. I'll, I even buy the um, extra like heavy strength stuff from uh, Lowe's or, or Home Depot that is for outdoor and that stuff works really quickly as well. The, the thing I'm going to do is paint this on just the green spots and then you can see there's some discoloration where the handles were and I'm going to bleach that as well. And then after I get everything a little bit more on the same page then I'll bleach the entire drawers and, you know so at the end of this I'll probably have done about three coats of bleach maybe four coats of bleach and I'm setting them out in the sun which is going to amplify the bleach's effect and, and really get things going fast and quick you have to be careful with this because you don't want your piece to warp or whatever put them in the shade get the next one
After waiting until the drawers were completely dry out in the sun for a few hours, then we went in with the vinegar solution. This is just pure vinegar. <laughs> and the girls are going to paint it on kind of like a painting a dresser. And you can apply it anyway if you wanted to spray it or if you wanted to wipe it on with a washcloth would probably be the quickest way. But this is kind of fun for them. But again, you want to make sure your bleach is completely dry, bone dry, because you don't want any harsh chemical fumes. vinegar was completely dry I decided to go in with a 220 grit sandpaper to smooth out the wood grain that had been raised a little bit with the bleaching process so this just gives it a really buttery smooth finish it's optional if you're going for a more rustic look you don't have to do that but I wanted the drawer to be nice and smooth to the touch then you can see that we flip the dresser upside down to work on the bottom part. It just makes things a lot easier to handle when you're trying to get the glue down into where the lifted veneer was happening. And so this way the glue drips into the spaces you want it to versus dripping out. And just, just a neat little trick. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is a, a taupe wash or a tan wash, or you could call it a white wash if you're using white paint. And this is half, oh no, sorry, it's not half. It's three parts clear coat and one part paint, if I remember right. But this is leftover from a table project that I did. So if you want to watch more of this technique, you can see it on a table. And this is the first time my girl is doing one of these. So <laughs> it's kind of fun. She's uh, excited about it because it's her dresser. And... Um, we're just using, you can reuse these sponges as well, but it's a staining pad. And you could use anything though, a washcloth, or you could use a, a cleaning sponge, what, whatever you have on hand, paper towels. And then we're using paper towel as well to wipe away, but you could use a towel or a lint-free cloth or shop towels, whatever you want. Um, and just painting it on and then wiping it away. And what you'll find is that this works so much better than just going on with the clear coat. Had we just applied clear coat, that would have turned this dresser a much more yellow tone than we're going for. But the paint wash just really cancels out that tone. Think of it like makeup for your dresser, <laughs> for your wood, and it just smooths and blends everything out. And then you can see that the poplar, the green parts that we bleached, you know, they, the green kind of went away, but it is still a little bit darker, um, even still. So this paint wash will help even out that color as well. And you can even apply more of it on the areas that are darker like that so that you get a really nice, even color by the end.
just using some leftover paint from my garage stash. I'm going to try to create the oh so popular sage green color that we're seeing all over the place. Now, I don't know if my color theory is tight enough to really pull this off. So, you know, my daughter's going to have to be happy with whatever she gets in the end. But I'm thinking the sage green, the light sage that I have on the left and then the green and a little bit of black ought to do the trick. But I have a mixture of this Earth Safe Finishes paint that um, the lady was so nice to send me from Earth Safe Finishes. And it's non-toxic, which is great. And then I have some cashmere from Sherwin-Williams. That's an awesome, durable paint that I've, I've really had great success with. Uh, I used to use it a lot more than I do now. Um, and then I have some bear on the left that is from the Oops uh, – station <laughs> nine dollars for a gallon of paint you can't beat that and then you know here's the color i'm just using some cheap paint brushes and then you know me i'm going to go over it with a high density foam roller my favorite choice for that is the whiz high density foam roller from i think it says cabinets and doors I buy mine at Lowe's generally but you guys have seen me use a lot of the different high density foam rollers and those are just superior. Uh, they're much thicker and denser. I don't, you know, I don't know what they use to make them, but they're just better. And I do a paint on and roll off method as my standard method. So I'm just going to paint the paint on there any kind of way. And then I do try to smooth it out as best I can. Um, it helps to work in a, you know, cool environment. Don't have the sun beating on you. Make sure that your, um, in the shade I like to work in the garage in the morning or in the evenings where the air is a little bit damp and then I go over it with a dry foam roller uh, so the foam roller is in essence it's removing a lot of the paint that I just slapped on there and evening everything out and so that is my go-to method if you want the smoothest possible finish with a roller, then you'll want to go with an oil enriched enamel. It doesn't really matter what brand you want to go with, but I like Valspar Furniture and Cabinet Enamel, and you can find it at Lowe's for under $30. Um, but every paint has pros and cons. It does take longer to dry and cure, and it's also, you know, it's like it's a little bit pricier. I don't know if it's that much pricier. It seems like all the paint is so freaking expensive lately. <laughs> I'm like, oh my goodness, every time I go into the store. So loving using a lot of my leftover paint and just being nice and frugal and resourceful makes me very happy. And I feel like <laughs> it's softening the blow of some of this inflation. And I hope that you guys will do the same and use up some of your leftover paint and save your money and <laughs> put it away for a rainy day. And another trick is if you um, are, aren't sure about your color theory or, or which color you're trying to make, you can just make really tiny batches, like teaspoon batches of the paint mixture and mix different colors together to see what you get. That way you don't waste any paint trying to, I mean, you saw me today, I was using cups and that's quite a bit of paint, right? Uh, but I had already tested out the color a little bit with just tiny little dabs of paint to see what I was um, gonna end up with because every type of paint and color has different undertones and stuff so it really you really do have to get your hands dirty and get in there all right so now we're getting pretty close to the reveal we're gonna get these drawers in there get some handles on there and then take a look at it no handles to see what color should we do yes do anyone I have some black ones. Oh, okay, no, you can. Come on. Ooh, I like they're, it. They're small. Let's put it up against there and see what it looks like. Ooh. Let's take a look at this before. Free dresser off Facebook Marketplace. Needing a little bit of love. And the after. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It is, I saw it through the way the, the whole way through the project, but I still get so shocked when I watch the uh, video back. <laughs> it's just like. Holy moly, what a transformation. This thing is beautiful. I wish I would have filmed my daughter's reaction. She loves it so much. Uh, like I said, we're gonna do a full bedroom makeover, including this dresser, kind of uh, based around this dresser uh, really soon. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.